Hello everyone, Awesome Soul here, and today's video I will be discussing a little idea I had for a movement type. Now what's so special about this movement type? Well, from what you can see on the screen, or the little example that just happened, this is a transforming, quote unquote, uh, movement type. So it can go from a walking form to a driving form. Now, this is somewhat similar to the crawler legs that we have currently. Um, and if you look in the background of the image, there is the crawler leg uh, silhouette, just for an example, something to compare sizes, you know, all that sort of stuff. And the white cube you see there is the size of an actual cube. So that's also for size comparisons. Now, the numbers that I give out in this little concept video of mine, as always, they are just examples. I know uh, Free Jam will have free reign if they ever decide to add this, and they probably know a bit more about balancing because they can actually test it and tweak the numbers. Obviously, I don't have that luxury. I wish I did. Anyways, without further ado, going on to health. So the health of this is a little bit under the crawler legs, or walker legs, that we have now. So 23,000. So that's about 2,000 less health than the walker legs. Next up, the CPU load. Again, slightly less than the walker legs, just by two. Robot ranking. Again, it's going to be a little less, just because obviously your CPU load is not as high and therefore you're not pouring all the CPU into one part. Heal rate is the same as the leg at two times. Now, mass. This is something that's fairly different. Most movement types have a fairly light mass. Uh, wheels, on the other hand, they have 600 kilograms. And tank tracks are, well, quite insane. The reason I've given these 100 kilograms of weight is because unlike the walker legs, these don't actually cling to surfaces, so they need these, uh, this extra weight to make sure it's going to actually stay glued to the ground and make sure it doesn't actually uh, flip over quite as easily. Now, it will have like an auto-writing system, sort of like how the walker leg, if you jump up, it'll try and balance itself flat. Assuming you don't have any thrusters pushing you up or sideways or what have you. So that'll help it out when it's on the ground. Because 100 kilograms itself probably isn't too much. But I still kind of like these to be viable on flyer hybrids. Anyways, next up, max walking speed. So, crawler legs. They have a max speed of 97. These will have a max speed of 120. I figured that these should be a bit more mobile, due to the uh, less health it has, and a few other things that will come up shortly. Now the max drive speed of this is 200 miles per hour. Now while that is quite fast, the fact that it has 100 kilograms of weight in each leg, uh, your jumping speed is not going to be quite high, whereas crawlers can utilize their jumping to the fullest potential with this added weight, as well as, well, something that's coming up, <laughs> stat-wise, um, won't be quite as long of a jumper. Likewise, the top speed of this is fairly low compared to wheels and hovers max speed. The max speed of wheels is 220, and the max speed of hovers is 240. So it is a little bit lower, not too much, however, these will not be affected as much as, say, wheels or hovers, for example. They won't be affected as much by thrusters. Next up, the max carrying capacity, and then the max carrying capacity when overclocked. Now, this is a bit less than walker legs, so you'll have to work that out. I mean, it's not a huge difference. So you don't have to worry too much. It's just this works a bit better with slightly lighter bots. Now, this thing that I've hinted at before was the jump height. So the jump height of this is only 14 meters. Now that's at overclock one. The jump height of walker legs 
is 23 meters. And when it comes to overclock jump height, 32 meters. Now, the walker legs max overclock jump height is 64 meters. So that's double. If you would like to get an idea of this for yourself, I believe 32 meters would be about overclock 4 for walker legs. So it's a decent jump height, but it's not going to be anything crazy. And again, thrusters won't help you as much due to the weight of these legs. So next up, I'll be moving on to a few info points rather than stats. So I have said that the uh, multi-drive legs will be able to switch forms. And how you do this is simply by holding shift for probably a few seconds, I'd say, and that will allow you to change forms on the fly whenever you want to. However, the drive form's jump ability is weaker. Not necessarily by half, but just a little bit weaker. So you're not going to be jumping as high when you're in drive form as opposed to walking form. So that's something to keep in mind. So each form has its perks and pros and cons, that sort of thing. So when in drive form, the wheels will pivot when you take a corner, allowing you to drift. So the drifting on this is quite pronounced, slightly more than hovers. Now this might get somewhat annoying if you couldn't go into walking form. So in order to come out of a drift early, or when you think you might smash into something or when you want to stop drifting, you simply hold shift and go into walking mode. And then from there, you can either stay in walking mode or continue on your merry way in drive mode. So when thinking about a playstyle for this multi-drive leg, one thing to keep in mind is that players can use the walk mode for stable firing. So for example, if you are a rail gunner, you could switch to walking mode and your feet will be firmly planted on the ground, you won't be sliding or rolling anywhere, and you won't have a lot of kickback either. Likewise, you can use drive mode to get into positions quickly, and then obviously from there, go back to walk mode and fire a few shots, go to drive mode, hit reload, and find a new spot. By the time you get there, hopefully you'll be reloaded. And last but not least, again, as I said in the beginning of the video, the silhouette you see in the background is the walker leg. Again, for size comparisons, it is there, and as you can see, it does have a tighter profile than the walker leg. About two blocks. So that's going to shave off four blocks total off the width of your bot, which is quite nice if you have a electroplate wall set up on the front of your bot, it'll be much easier to protect than the walker legs. Now, when it comes to utilizing this in other ways, one thing you could do would be adding Teslas to this bot. This would actually be fairly viable to do due to the ability to jump and its sheer speed, whether it be in walking mode or out of it. So for example, when in walk form, you could use your height and jump ability to jump over a cliff and mid-flight transform into wheel mode and then just ram into a bunch of enemies. Now, as I said before, this does have a fairly powerful drift to it. So this would be probably the most advanced or I guess highest skill cap movement type that we have currently in the game because you would have to know when to jump, you would have to know how to drift properly, when to go out of walking mode, when to go into walking mode, to best utilize your drift, that sort of thing. Now, on the surface, some of you might think that, oh, it's just a, a hybrid. I could just easily put wheels on my crawler and call it a day. But this is sort of like a jack of all trades, if you will type of movement type. Jack of all trades, master of none kind of thing. It can't quite jump as high as the legs. It's not quite as fast as the wheels, but it does have its own perks. And again, it acts almost like a hover, even though it's wheel-based. You can pivot on the spot. You don't have to drive forward and all that. So that's 
something that's very, very important. And it, I think it does kind of come across in the design, but I figured I'd mention that, because that's a pretty important point. And that's everything I wanted to discuss for this video. Let me know what you guys think of this down below. What would you change? What would you tweak? Do you like the idea? And do you think this is something you would use? It is a very unique type. Um, we don't currently have a morphing movement type, so I figured something like this could be a lot of fun. Anyways, guys, I want to thank you so much for watching. Share this around if you can. And I have been the Awesome Soul. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Take care.